Hi, I am indeed here with Davey Dunn and the shopping. How is everyone? Hi, Chloe. How are you doing? Uh, are you feeling so nervous or excited? Excited. excited. <laughs> We're always excited. The lights Thrilled. aren't too much for you or anything? No, no, no. <laughs> Pretty cool. They're too much for me, but whatever. It's fine. Um, how, how did you get started, Davey, in the music biz? The music? Um, well, I was always into songwriting and okay. stuff like that. So I got heavily involved in that. I suppose doing the usual rounds. And I... Um, so once I started recording stuff, and I did an album there before called Death for Hometown. I just did an album, just real casual. Like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just did an album this one time. Yeah, so I did there one time. I did the album, and like I wrote loads of songs, and it, and it came out and it was good, and um, you know it did all right. Like people liked it, got like a lot of critical acclaim. Didn't oh, didn't good. sell an awful lot though. Oh. You know, so if you want a few, a few here <laughs> you have under, there. under the chair. <laughs> <laughs> and then how did you meet these guys and start? Well, after Dave that, and the shopping. After that, um. I kind of um, stopped writing for a while, for no major deep reason. I just did a kind of relocated and all that kind of thing. So and then, um, so then I met the guys. I always did a kind of a two piece gig with John, the drummer. Okay. So we used to do kind of like covers and all that kind of stuff, um, and uh, we, like we did all that kind of Kingsley and all that kind of thing. So we were doing stuff like that, and we met Barry. Barry was way traveling in um, in India, yeah. and I was um, exotic. Yeah, he, he's the interesting <laughs> one. We should be talking to him. <laughs> um, so um, he came. To, I did a gig. Um, one night that it was some other guy was meant to be playing. Yeah, David and, took um, his place and uh, what gig we were doing or whatever, and I was playing at it. And he's like, "Oh, do you want to come along and play a few tunes with me some night?" Mm. Gig said he was doing a regular slot, so um, I just went along with him and we kind of hooked up. After Rest that. is history. Yeah, very yeah. good. Yeah, so I was only starting to kind of get back writing then, and I played Barry some tapes, mm. but it wasn't tapes really. We kind of emailed, <laughs> you know, MP3s. You know. Yeah. So and um, he said they're they're really cool. He liked to work on them, so he did. So we all got. In studio, and we started doing it again, so it worked out really well. Very good. And how long have you actually been a? Oh, only a good year, I'd say. A year, oh, okay. well, like, you know, for us, a relatively new, like. Yeah, yeah relatively yeah. new. Yeah, so um, yeah, we're not going that long. So it's going alright. You would never know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, tell me about your influences, um, or who you who you kind of have been listening to for years, or who you kind of like to. Well, there's so many people I'd like. Um, I won't say I like everyone, because like, I do like everyone, but I suppose if there's anyone that I kind of admire and I suppose took something from, I was like Paul Weller. I liked his early stuff. Very good, I yeah. was a big Jam fan. Um, I like Michael Stipe. I like him too. Um, massive Dylan fan, Bob. Mm. So I love Bob. Out of all the big heavyweight songwriters, he'd be my favourite. So like, I'm not so much a Van Morrison, but more of a Bob Dylan kind of guy. I get you. Um, <laughs> and I like, um, I like Bruce Springsteen and stuff like that, like some of his early stuff. So like we have a lot of that in common as well. We're all into classic yeah. songwriters and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So man, yeah, some lyrics, good lyrics, all that kind of stuff. But I love melody, love melody too. Some Beatles, and um, a good pop song. Like I'm up for it, you know. So like we you can't beat it, really. Good pop song. Well, you know, yeah. So like we we covered a lot of. I suppose we don't really mind. I mean, if there's if there's an art, we don't tend to like you know do covers of like Bob Dylan or if we're gonna do a cover, like we could easily do. Like a Lily Allen cover or something. You yeah, it's like some, some bit yeah. different, yeah. But like yeah. some of them are all right, melodies. And I was, once it's a good melody, I think it's fair game. Yeah, absolutely, because you can make it your own then anyway, really. A good song is a good song at the end of the exactly. day. Exactly, yeah. 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 And that's where we kind of come from, really. If the song is decent, you know. So we try to, to write decent songs. So um, as far as putting them in a genre or a style, you know, they just kind of come out the way they do. It's kind of hard, yeah. 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 And do you have a kind of a songwriting process yourself? Like, have you just always been... Writing well, or is it? Well, I always, I'd always write kind of, um, I suppose, stories when I was younger, mm. and um, I kind of got into poetry. But then it was like you know, whatever type of poetry. And I used to play drums in a band, and because um, they they would never write lyrics, I'd say, well, I'll write the lyrics. I didn't see what the big deal was, you know, yeah. just write the lyrics. So I'd write the lyrics, and and that was great. And let them play the music. But then um, I decided eventually, you know, I wouldn't mind like playing the guitar or something and wouldn't it be great to actually write the whole song mm. because I used to get tired because I'd write loads of lyrics and they'd write like one song <laughs> he's very prolific are you one of these people that just like turns them out are you yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah well, it doesn't mean they're good though Oh, yeah. I'm sure there's one, one or I'd two say, good ones in there. the first songs I wrote. Awful. <laughs> well, it's all a learning process, I'm sure. Yeah. Do, you ever, do you have any songs in like old diaries that you like look back on from when you were younger? <laughs> you know, I don't, because I don't remember them. Oh, okay. But, um, but I, there, I have, because I know I look back and I kind of go, I remember when I wrote a great song, but I can't remember the song. Mm. So what I do now is I actually do a spreadsheet of all the songs. Right. And um, I record them all. Oh, okay. As soon as I write them. 
So, and usually, and it kind of, like, it works like a law of averages because you could, you could have 10 songs and gig and they're all great songs and mm. people think you wrote 10 great songs but I probably wrote in 70 and, right. you know, 60 or rubbish. I know what you mean. You know, yeah. and so you, you have to write a lot to get the good 10. Mm. And I find that kind of works well. With and do you find that you have to kind of tweet them a lot when you, like, do you just kind of all jam together to come up with it or do you just go to these guys and say, this is, yeah, this well, is we, the way it's... Yeah, we usually jam. Well, Barry does his own thing. Really, he just, you know, he doesn't, he plays... <laughs> He does. Um, he does all the bass lines. Like I mean, some of them. It's like he does a lot of jazzy kind of bass lines, and mm. and that's what I was kind of into from the start when he started playing with me. And um, because I was into like chord progressions, right? You know, so. Yeah. And because um, I was getting better on the guitar and stuff like that, so Barry kind of complimented that he was into all these different rhythms as well. So we kind of clicked on that. We weren't into a standard structure, so um, it worked. It worked out well yeah. because it, it, we get you know we enjoy playing the tunes and. Um, that, yeah, so as far as the process goes, um, yeah, I, 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 t- I like to write a lot. Yeah. And when I was learning, if I was learning covers, like at one stage I was doing covers a lot, I'd like to learn loads of covers. I don't like to work on one or two, I just like to learn loads. Just or have loads of them, It makes it difficult yeah. for the rest of us, you know. Yeah. Really? Like every week, I've you know, learned these 12 songs, yeah, uh, you have to learn like them today. No, no, <laughs> yeah. no days for Sunday, you know, yeah, and you're you like... get an email, oh. I've learned five songs for Sunday. Really? You get them. it on the Saturday. Go on, you don't make it easy for them to... <laughs> So that's just, <laughs> but we love them all the same. Yeah. <laughs> it's good fun. I like to keep. You kind of lose it when you when you write a song. You tend to um, at the end of the song, you get all excited and you go, "What a song!" Mm. And then like you know, half an hour later, you go, "Oh my god, it's awful!" <laughs> you know, or else the opposite. You can go, "Oh my god, it's brilliant!" Yeah. You know, you, you know when you've wrote, written a good one. As soon as you wrote it, it's, 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 it's usually like you know, mm. you, you you pat yourself in the back for the effort you put in. Yeah. So you like to convince yourself it's good. It is a big achievement, in fairness, because yeah. it's not something everyone can do as well. Like you know. But the good thing Definitely. too, Barry's, Barry's pretty honest. <laughs> and, uh, pretty honest yeah. he, he's my main man when I send. When you I need write someone song. like that in a band. I'm I honest, think. but I'm not insulting. If I don't like yeah. it, I say it's an okay song. It's yeah. uh, that's why he says it. Like, you send him an email. Like I mean, you do it with them. You know, the iPhone. Obviously, you can record and voice yeah, and send so you can annoy everyone. Yeah. Like you know, and um, he usually sends it back on. It's not one of your better ones, all right? <laughs> <laughs> so, and, uh, yeah, actually, what was that? Just okay song. So you do need someone like that, though, in fairness. Yeah, so when he gets excited about a song, I know it must be all right, because he's good, he's good musical taste, so... Uh, yeah. Cheers, man. <laughs> <laughs> so much bromance going on in here today, oh, I love yeah. it. Sometimes he doesn't reply at all. <laughs> <laughs> then you know busy, it's a really you know? bad song if he doesn't even reply. <laughs> uh, do you want to play your first song for us? Yeah, yeah this yeah. is off the, the EP. <clears throat> is there any story behind it that you want to share with us? Um... It's about uh, if it was about anything. It's about um, it's about a guy who meets up with his ex from years ago. Right. And um, they they're still got a big connection, but it's not a romantic one. It's a, it's about um, it's about how they respect each other, and they've obviously been through a lot since they've known each other, and they're they're really close. They they, they just connect really well, and and um, but like it, it's not that they're going to get it on or anything. Yeah. They just remember the good times. Just it's, it's like the two of them being nostalgic for when they used to go out. Very good. Cool. Okay. Yeah. But with that in mind, hopefully it comes across. <laughs> Maybe we should just like talk while I play. It. <laughs> I can, I can know. narrate too. <laughs> I don't know if that go down as well C1. as. <laughs> Take it away. So is this called Penny Gray? Two, three, four.
with Davey Dunn and shopping and right before the break they played us a little tune uh, Penny Gray Penny Gray Penny yeah. Gray and it was very good very catchy thanks a lot yeah I liked it a lot I was bopping away here to myself <laughs> recording wise as a group have you done much or just that one EP or at the moment just that one EP but yeah. I'm planning to do that's still it. very good for a, in a year like to have done that so yeah, fair you know, play <laughs> yeah I know <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's, um, yeah so we hope to do a, like, um, a follow up later on the year and um, so we planned a couple of them so it's just getting getting it out there and like we're kind of making some waves with this one so hopefully the next one will make even more you know so mm. okay and the recording process do you enjoy it or love it yeah really it. yeah some people find it a bit claustrophobic or some bands find it a bit no no, no, no I know, yeah I know what you mean like really boring or kind of yeah kind of monotonous like yeah, yeah we, we don't um, the good thing about it is we don't have a really boring lead guitar player you know, because you know, going with big amps, yeah, yeah. And you only got 50 pedals, yeah, you know, they're really boring, and that, that's what ruins recording for everyone, <laughs> right? Okay, <laughs> you know, so we could, uh, because of like their ages, we don't, we don't, we don't tend to mess around a lot when we're in there, we tend to go in and um, we get everything down pretty quick, mm. you know, as quick as we can. Like, we we, we try to, we, we do try to make it sound as good as possible. Was it a lot? Did it take as long to do it or all together? Like, mm, not really, I'd say, well, I look over the like, it's probably only. Five days, four, five, five, six days. days. Yeah, that's Most, very yeah. short, yeah. You know, so we, we like to, you know, I suppose it, I mean, it's... Quick. A, like, you go in, we went in more or less with ideas yeah. as well. It wasn't anything really curly finished, you know, and then you can see how it grows in the studio as mm. well at a certain point. Yeah, just and kind of. Yeah. So we're working with great people as well, you know, so... Where about did you record it? In Karner Ross, um, in Jam Studios. Oh, very good. Um, Martin Quinn. Lovely. So he's a good friend of ours, and um, Martin plays on it. Oh. So on um, the Penny Gray song, he does the um, piano. Oh, Oh, that's cool. So he, and he does the guitar and try, and he does. Um, yeah, I go back with Martin. So, oh, very yeah, good. He's, he's, he's brilliant, and um, yeah, we love going into him. He's a great producer as well. Definitely recommend him. Cool. So um, and that's Jam Jam Studios. Actually. Yeah, the great thing with Martin, he's, he's very quick. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not is he great. in Navin? Is that in Navin? In oh, Carnarvon, right. in Kells. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. So he's very quick. He, you know, Lee changed and all that kind of thing. He's very quick at what he does, and that really helps the studio as well. Mm. You know, um, I, I would get bored with with all these. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's obviously how you work in the studio. <laughs> I was like, what's yeah, this? you just there's this process with two leads. <laughs> yeah. You know, you got that? Yeah, three song three song four. So, uh, <laughs> so, uh, so you didn't mind the process too much anyway. You enjoyed it. Yeah, it. no, we, no, we love it. Yeah, we, it's it's great. We we play a lot live. Mm. So the good thing is that you know the takes wouldn't take long. You yeah, know. yeah, you kind of know how to. Yeah, get it done. Yeah, they get we get them done pretty quick. So very good. Uh, gigs wise, then you've done a lot, an awful lot. You were saying, um, is that mainly around the Mead area, or is that have you played Dublin much? Or? Yeah, like I mean, we do we do Dublin as well, and we're do a lot more in Dublin now um, in the coming months, mm-hmm. especially since we really put the EP. We're getting behind it, so we're doing stuff like this, um, this show and that, you know, and you know, just trying to get around, get 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 some good gigs going, see see what's out there and all that, you know. Do you have a gig that stands out as being your best, maybe, at all? 
Um, are they just all amazing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we tend to get the crap ones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretend they didn't all, happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think the crap ones are always more interesting, aren't they? It's yeah. good to be crap. <laughs> Because it makes you better. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but there has been has been a few really crap ones. <laughs> no, when when like good gigs, um, yeah, we we we, <laughs> we have a few. We have, a few. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'd, I'd say um, if end with gig and um, it's nice. Should be good the launch. Yeah, well, that's good, that's yeah. something really personal for you as well. Like, mm. yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's in. You may as well plug it now while you've mentioned it's it. It's a baggies, and it's eleven o'clock. In Yavin. In Navin, yeah. So um, we're going to be there at 11 and we'll, we'll do around 12 songs. Sure, that's loads. That's, that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> the thought, you know. <laughs> and <laughs> you're, you had your EP launch then. Was it last week? We were in Tower, Tower last Records. week, yeah. That was and good how, how did that go? Tell me about that. Uh, that was good. Um, in the vinyl section. So um, it was, <laughs> there's lots of people going through the vinyl. And that, that was grand, you know. So they, <clears throat> so they were looking through the vinyl and we, we'd play. But a lot of them turned around, you know, and... Um, and they bought a CD. It's it's a it's a good spot to play, you know. It's nice nicely located. Mm. Get a lot of people coming in, and um, you know a lot of them. You know we sold a lot of CDs. Very good. So it's great. That's the whole point. It is, yeah. It's it's, it's, it's pushing the CDs. You sell a lot of them to gigs as well. They've cool, been going yeah. really well, you know. So um, we're really happy with that. Great. Um, and then. The name, can I ask where you got the name from? The shopping. The shopping. Um, <laughs> I love how they always point at Davey straight away. <laughs> it's his fault. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, like it was... Because I, I love it. It's so weird it's that I like it. Like, it's, it's so odd. rubbish. It's, it's, it's really good. Like, yeah. I know what you mean. No, yeah. not rubbish. It's, it's cool, okay. Like. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It, well, the whole point of it was, um, you kind of remember it. Even though it's, it's, one of, it's a word that's used everywhere. So we are like anywhere in the world. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's a big word. It's shopping. It's either shopping... In you know, in some supermarket in Navin or else it's shopping in, in Fifth Avenue. <laughs> yeah. Shopping is shopping. Yeah. And everybody knows the term. Look, like, the, the the more you try to get into um, into a cool name, especially at this stage, you know. In There's like, no point in overcomplicating a name. That's what I always tell I mean, bands yeah. that come in here. There's no point. But well, all the great names, yeah, from sixties, seventies, eighties, they're mm. um, they're pretty much like you know they're all taken. Yeah. So like, <laughs> and the cool names don't tend to get remembered. And so many different bands that like the cooler you name, the more you can be forgotten. Yeah. So I thought the shopping was something <laughs> yeah, you, like you know it. you'd probably remember. Yeah, a bit, it's a bit easier. It's just <laughs> simple. Yeah. Because yeah. I hate it so much, maybe. <laughs> I do a lot of shopping. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm a super value man. I like I like little for certain things. Do you hear that, Davy doing shops in super value. Yeah. <laughs> With a dash a little. <laughs> dash a little in there. Dash a little in there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we have a text here from a fan. Uh, love the Penny Gray song. Can't wait to hear more of Davy Dunn. Can I download these songs? That's from Ellie. Um, I would say um, not yet, but next week you will. You will be able to download next it week. next week. Yeah. Are you aren't, are you aren't? I, I meant to have it all down, uploaded <laughs> and something it just didn't happen. Right. It's something about files or something. Do you have anything online at all? Like, even just, do you have a Facebook and... Facebook, kind of yeah, I'm on Facebook. David on Music on Facebook, so you, you can go on that, you know. Um, and do you kind of plug your gigs and stuff there so people can follow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so you can you can look up there. Um, but at the moment, yeah, it's really Facebook and stuff like that. It will go online. There's hard copy CDs now. You can go into Tower, you can buy them. And stuff like that, but they will be online um, to download next week, along Very with good. the other album done as well. Brilliant, cool. And uh, now you're not on SoundCloud or anything like that yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> sort of. <laughs> yeah, but uh, he's a, getting there. He's getting a, there. Yeah, I'm, I'm Ellie, working on hang SoundCloud. Hang in there, and you'll get them eventually. <laughs> the SoundCloud. I know. I'm, I'm on SoundCloud, but I have no songs. So. Oh my God. You will soon though. Keeping them all to myself. Yeah. <laughs> no one's going to hear them. Promotion? What? No. I know. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> Great, okay, well, do you want to um, play your next song for us? Yeah. Yep. This is a song called um, No Temptation, and um, this is off the EP as well. Treats 
very catchy I don't know if you say this is a compliment but to me it's a compliment you kind of remind me a little bit of Crowded House like oh yeah big Neil fan, Finn fan yeah, yeah totally yeah, yeah that's a big compliment a <laughs> yeah big compliment. no I love Crowded House though you say it really really like and the harmonies and everything is quite quite like them like anyway we'll have that one better <laughs> yeah, we'll take that yeah. we'll <laughs> take that yeah uh, we have another text here uh, love the guys great songs best of luck to them from Sinead thank you very much oh thanks Sinead. Sinead cheers do you know Sinead no <laughs> No. Maybe you can give me your number after this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're legally allowed to do that for sure. We'll see. <laughs> so here on the NeurFM sessions, we always do a little round called Cheesy Questions. Okay, yeah. I don't know if you've been pre-warned. No. Sometimes they do that and I don't like when they pre-warn people. No. So <laughs> mm. we're gonna, just going to throw them out there and see how you do. <laughs> Davey, you look a little bit nervous. It's okay. <laughs> you look a bit apprehensive. I'm looking forward to these questions. <laughs> That's, that's me looking forward to something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad this camera's here. To catch up. <laughs> that's my good side. Yeah. Um, okay, the first one. If you could tour with any band or artist, live, dead, gone mad, who would it be and why? No, I doubt they're alive. Yeah, doesn't matter if doesn't matter if they're alive or dead. I'd love to tour with John Lennon. Very good. Um, Just because you're a big fan, or you think the no, tour? No, I, I, yeah. Well, I, I think um, yeah, Lennon is. Um, 
I was actually just watching that that movie the other day about being shot and all that, you know. Oh, it's a great film. Yeah, so <laughs> you didn't see it. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's no such movie as that. <laughs> I made it up I was watching a movie. Um, uh, yeah, no, I think uh, Lennon was a um, very interesting musician, mm. you know, so like, I mean... I think he could have learned stuff off him, maybe. So I, th- I think... Um, he could have passed over some... He wasn't one for the big... Um, yeah, I mean, like, he wasn't one, like, unlike... Alone, I love Paul McCartney, too, so... Paul McCartney's listening. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> love you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think Lennon was um, a really interesting musician. The fact that he was a great musician, but he didn't really... Um, he got tired of acting like one. And he kind of was very much John Lennon. Mm. And the, the music kind of just backed up John Lennon rather than John Lennon. The other way around, ba- yeah. yeah, which he would have been in the Beatles. So he's really very interesting. I think it would have been really interesting to see what he would have done next, you know, as he would have grown. Mm. Um, but um, yeah, so John Lennon for me. Very good. Okay, Barry. Um, well, I went to see the Chili's there on Tuesday night. So How was it? I haven't heard anything about it. Was, it. it was pretty good. It depended where you were. And I had some friends that were in the stands and they said the sound was pretty bad oh, there. Oh, yeah, okay. Because of outdoor gig and all that. Yeah. But uh, I was right up the front and the sound, the sound was fine there. Yeah. I thought it was a great gig and I thought they looked like a wild bunch of fellas. So yeah. I'd even now, even them. still, I'd even say they still, are. Even still, yeah. Mad, after yeah. like whatever, 30 something years touring. Like, yeah, you know. I saw them in the O2 <laughs> and they were, yeah, pretty mental. Yeah. I'd say they were even worse than Crow Park. More space. Yeah, they were <laughs> leaping around the place. Yeah. And Flea came in doing a handstand for the oh, encore, geez, you know? Yeah. I'd say yeah. they were mad back in the day. Like, I'd say their, their tours in the 90s were insane. Yeah, would have been great. Yeah. yeah. Cool, good so, answer. Cheers. John? Um, probably Led Zeppelin. Oh, a nice one. Yeah. yeah. In their in the in their peak. In their peak, yeah. yeah. yeah just for good. the music and the mayhem. The madness. Yeah, just the sheer madness of it <laughs> Very all. Very good. Okay, uh, if you were <laughs> if you were stranded on Desert Island and you only had a little iPod shuffle, only oh, nice. holds one album. Can't be a compilation, can't be a great sits. What would it be and why? Um Oh something that isn't gonna drive you mad after you listen to it about ten times in a row. The, the one driving me mad. I don't know. I really like the the, the the soundtrack to Natural Born Killers. <laughs> That's so random. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Totally random. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like. I uh, know it. That's you should have checked out. Okay. I've always loved that album. Um, there's some great stuff on it. Really kind of weird stuff on it. And there's like there's a lot of different people. Like Bob Dylan's on it. Um, there's loads of rap stuff on it. It's kind of a compilation. You're kind yeah. of cheating a little bit. But there's like yeah. Well, if, if, just, if it's an album, I'd say. Um, I like um God um I like. Do you know? Do you have like a go-to album that you just never get sick of, or do you just have? I like I like uh, I like Automatic for the People by R.E.M. Very good. Okay. That that that's a brilliant album. I don't, I don't think you can get sick of that one. Um, I actually like that album so much that I I I drove there to that Automatic for the People restaurant in Athens, Georgia. Really? Yeah. Oh. And um, good. yeah, I did. <laughs> And um, because I was an Orient fan, obviously as well. But um, when in Athens, they, they, they you know the album, yeah. the Automatic for People, and um, it's named after a restaurant. Mm-hmm. So when I looked at the sleeve, it says named after this restaurant, and I thought well, it's obviously some big, like you know, hard rock cafe type restaurant. But like it's a small cafe, and um, it's it's run down, it's and it's painted just with paint on the sign, Automatic for People. <laughs> And it seemed spelt wrong. I think people spelt it wrong. <laughs> well, we met the guy Weaver D, who who owns it, and um, so it was great to see this. It was such a multi-million album yeah. named after such a shack. Yeah, yeah. Mm. At least it's kind of humbling, I guess. Yeah, but I, I, yeah, I think that is a flawless album. Very good. So okay, very see, well, you wouldn't get sick of that quickly then, no. Barry. Uh, probably Jeff Buckley, Grace. That album. Uh-huh. Classic, yeah. Yeah, Classic, it's yeah. just like I mean, it's kind of a one-off, you know. And there's, there's so much in it. Mm. Probably be it's kind of deep sort of album, you know, something you listen to again and again. So cool, good choice. Yeah. I'll I'll just rob Barry there. I'll go for um, the Chili Peppers Blood Sugar. Oh yeah, great album. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I want. Well, if we all go together, <laughs> you can all swap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 that would be a pretty good setup. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll no, sneak the National Born Killer soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, that's just a really fun <laughs> album and it's just. <laughs> It's a bit mad, yeah. It's great, yeah. 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 That, is, that is another yeah. kind of album. Yeah. For bass playing as well. Oh, definitely amazing. Have to go for Them that again, one, yeah. kind of in their peak. Like, what would you oh, do? Yeah. 
I don't know. I've never actually answered these questions myself. I need time to think about them. I'll, I'll email you. It's not easy, is it? No, it's really hard. That's why I'm kind of skipping over it. No like. compilations. <laughs> no compilations. That's a big rule. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, uh, do I have any more? Do you have any embarrassing songs that on your iPod that you wouldn't like to oh, yeah. usually <laughs> share? <laughs> no, most of them. Any that gosh. you'd like to tell us about? You're not Jeez. too embarrassed to tell us about? Um, really embarrassed. I'm really trying to think of the most embarrassing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, oh, I don't know. This is, actually, the iPod's not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> I, I used to have some really bad. Um, I tell you, there was. Um, I used to have, but I, I used to have this big CD collection, and there was one really bad album in there, and it was Robson and Jerome. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, uh, groans everywhere. <laughs> right. mm. And I, I just liked the version of Von Chaim, <laughs> so I bought the album. <laughs> That doesn't make it any better. I know. <laughs> it's so I know. I'm, like, I'm, I'm okay with it. <laughs> I went to, yeah, and so, but every time people came around, at the time was, I was living in the flat there, and anytime people came around, they never saw the, like, you know, the Leonard Cohen. They always went straight to Unchained Melody. Yeah, they just go, like, then I went, wow, cool, Dylan collection, man. You know, they was always like, you know, Rops and Jerome. You know, so. but that's, I'm, that's an awesome one. I like that one. There's a, <laughs> Robbie, yeah, there's a couple of um, Bruno Mars on my iPad. He's not, that bad. Is he? He's not that embarrassing. Uh, Bruno Mars. Maybe that's because I'm a girl, though. Mm, <laughs> it's okay be. for me to have both iPads. <laughs> Bruno Mars. Probably yeah. some Lady Gaga as well, don't you? Lady Gaga. I think. She's good to cover, uh, though, I think. Lady yeah, Gaga. Well, that's she why, is kind of yeah, good to cover. Like, so yeah, I, I, there, there, is, there is a Lady Gaga song on there. <laughs> Bound to be, man. Barry, what about you? Do you have any that you'd like to share? I don't think so, no. I was just trying to think there, like, because I don't have enough space. Barry looks a bit too you know? cool to have it in too embarrassing. Oh, I, I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should think before I should let Barry start off. And then I go, don't say it. <laughs> you like Barry. No, sometimes you listen to Davies. You know, I think my songs, is, yeah. my songs are the most embarrassing <laughs> ones. Yeah, actually, songs. I do have his. <laughs> They don't that's get much play, you know. That's a mean auntie. <laughs> <laughs> John? No, I let Davey win that one. Really? Go on. Good answer. What have you got? Yeah. Most of something there, man. Even from when you were younger, that you oh. wouldn't never listen to now? No, not really. Okay, no, I like they're it, too man. cool. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Davey, you win, hands <laughs> yeah. down. Robson yeah, and Jerome. I'm okay. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, I'll go with that. that Robson and Jerome. <laughs> as long as you embrace it, you're grand. <laughs> go, Davey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, well, what are the future plans? Tell oh, well, um... I'm going to be in Nova there on the 15th um, doing a couple of songs mm -hmm. and I, I think it's eight or nine or something. Cool. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to be gigging so you'll see me right everywhere. I'm gigging, I think I'm doing Acoustic 66, you know that um, big church, Destiny Church in Strand Street? Oh, yes, yeah. I'm, um, they've invited me on to do a Very gig good. there. It's pretty cool, really ambient place. So I won't be, you know, Mr. Chatty. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be more like Barry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Barry's going to just stand there. You're going to pretend to be David Next song, yeah. David the next song will be. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just come up and play a sappy yeah. talk. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about Robs and Jerome stuff. <laughs> um, and then, I suppose, the Navin, the launch tonight. Is yeah, that the right? launch, yeah. We're going to mm. record more about that, yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, Lounge if anyone, anyone can make it to Navin yeah. in the next two hours, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally, totally, yeah. yeah. And you'll be selling the EP and The EP's there and the album's there. An old album done is going to be there too. And um, yeah, so we're going to be recording more. We're going to be um, getting it all out there. And hopefully you'll be playing some songs. Of course, of course. He gave us a free EP. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be playing all the time, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So uh, yeah, it's going well. So we, we'll be around gigging a lot. So David's on the shop and look out for it. We'll, we'll, we'll be gigging a lot. So um, Excellent. And, uh, and around right. Dublin all night soon, so everyone can... Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Go on the Facebook page, David on Music. Just look that up. And start updating it so people know uh, well, what's I know, going on. No, there's, there's stuff on it. <laughs> Okay, put your songs on soon. Oh, the songs will be up. Yeah. I know, yeah. <laughs> They'll be up. Great. Okay, do you want to play us out with your final tune? Yeah. Sure. Um, just uh, say hello to Sandra and Elliot. We're listening. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> I'm sure they're waving at the radio right now. <laughs> um, so this, um, this, this, this uh, song called Inspire. Very good. Davey done the shopping. Thanks for coming on. Thanks so many for having Thank us. You. Great talking much. to you. Thank Take you. it away. Love One, two... One, two, three, four. Son, I tell you what, you know this talent that you got, you must inspire, inspire, inspire. 
It's time to get your ass out of the bottom of that glass It's time to set your standards a little higher Is the welfare time or the factory production line All that you really desire You gotta make use of what you got It's a dress rehearsal, this is night You must inspire, inspire, inspire I remember back in the day I worked for little or no pay It was so hard to put food on the table I wanted to go out there and become a millionaire I gave it everything but alas wasn't able But if I had what you got I would have given it a better shot I would have set this world on fire you Gotta make right to the Broadway night When your name explodes in lights You must inspire, inspire, inspire When I think of your late mom, my heart gets lifted by a song Whoever wrote that song, I'll be forever grateful Feed emotions with your sound, take them up, take them down Or to have that kind of power You just get up where you belong, the world is waiting for your song Go and inspire, inspire, inspire else you'd rather do didn't think so we're gonna get inspired make the people smile lord lord make the people smile lord lord make the people smile what the world did to you was it made you feel a fool it says your life was just one silly dream so you put down your tools and you tried to follow the rules And you ignored your heart as it tried to scream You know I find it oh so sad Cause I remember you as a lad Used to sing all day and you'd never tire 